So I just told him, look, he would be perfect for Harry Potter. Yeah, and of course I was right. Nobody could have played it better than Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, it was still mates, you know, he rings me and we chat or whatever. Anyway, let's talk about you. So, you want to do films, right? Well, I can do that for you. You see, I cast them all. Now, as they say, stick with me and I can make you a star. Look, um, I've got Kira Knightley sat in front of me as we're casting her new film, and I'm being terribly rude. Um, I'll be with you in a moment, Kira. So, Richard, hi. Oh, I'm Dallas, right? No, no, not quite. I'm uh, Ben, his assistant. It's great to meet you, though. I'm a massive fan of your work. Oh, nice one, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Did you uh, catch the movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. But Ben, I'm hi. I'm I'm Gareth. Yeah, anyway, so I'm glad you, you caught the movie in that. I've um, been following you on Twitter. Oh, nice one, mate. It's properly addictive, isn't it? Keep trying to mention Nando, see when I get some free chicken. <laughs> yeah, I've not been on it all. What, really? You've got, like, 14,000 followers. Oh, no, it's proper mental, isn't it? How many you got? 88. You could almost give me, like, a bit of a shout-out, say that we're uh, casting together. Yeah, yeah, what's your, um... Oh, mate, I would do, but, like, I've got no signal. Yeah. Seen you at... Quite a few of these now. How's it all going? Yeah, mate, it's going all right. Yeah, nice and busy. You? Yeah, yeah, I'm just in a really, really nice bit of theatre. And um, a small part, but, you know, my first bit of theatre, so I was really, really chuffed. Ah, oh, quality, mate. West End? Yeah. Well, no, kind of more outer, like, fringe. Well, it's really local to me, um, but they approached me, so. Always a good sign. Saw you in that TV show. Oh, um, Losing Control. No, oh, what was it? You were rich. I had a really fit chick from Hollyoaks. Oh, that one, yeah, Patience. Thought you did really well. Oh, thanks, mate. I remember going to the audition for that. Oh, have we met before, yeah. Yeah. They, um, they said they were going to try and sort me out with a different part because he got the lead, but it didn't work out in the end. What time are you in? 3.30. Wow. Uh, nice and early. I was worried about getting across London, you know, with the underground being not really accessible. I oh, don't have to tell you that, do I? <laughs> How did you get here today? Uh, taxi. That must cost you. Yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, what disability do you have? Uh, I had like, an accident at work, but I, I don't really like talking about it, to be honest with you. Yeah, sure, sorry. I just get so used to people talking to me about mine. No offence. Yeah, well, it's good that you're all OK with it, you know. Born with it, so <laughs> no choice, really. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. So, so you're married? Yeah, April last year. Oh, nice one, mate, nice one. She in a wheelchair as well? No. Do you want to run lines? We could... Yeah, that, that'd be really nice. I'll, I'll be back in a sec, yeah? Hi, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Guess he's here. Again. I'm not gonna get it over him, am I? He's done loads. Yeah, I know, it just really annoys me, that's all. 
I could always bribe them. Okay. We'll chat to you later. Bye. You are joking. You're faking it. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But keep your voice down, right? Keep my voice down? It's because of you I haven't worked in over a year. It's because of you I don't get cast in anything. <laughs> Are you bad enough you're not even... Look, 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 that's a little hypocritical, right? Hypocritical? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a long word. It's like when you say one thing and you, and you mean... Yeah, I know what it means, Richard. Well, you've gone for able body parts, haven't you? No, I don't. Unless it says wheels in the script, I don't even get seen. So until then, it'd be really nice if the disabled people got the disabled part. I mean, you wouldn't black up your face to play a part now, would you? So why are you gonna sit in that wheelchair and do this audition? Listen to me, I, I, I tried for years to get acting work. But you know, every door was closed, you know what it's like. <laughs> then I read this advert, disabled casting. So I thought, all right, I'll give it a go. But I never meant to lie, but I kept getting work. Not my fault there aren't that many disabled actors. I found the niche and I took it. It's not like having in college disabled people to act. Plus, I do loads <laughs> of charity work. So what do you want, like a knighthood? What about me? What about you? For every able body part, there's like hundreds of people that want it. You're not gonna say anything, are you? What? You're still gonna go through with this? Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you, honestly. I mean, I should report you to, like, equity or something. I bet the papers would love this story. Ah, uh, you wouldn't do that, would you? I don't think you're in any position to ask me to do anything. Do you? If you had any morals at all, Richard, any, you'd walk away. And the key word there is walk. All right, guys? Who wants to go first? <laughs>